What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I have an attribute update for you guys. So as you can see, I'm actually a 96 overall and as of right now, I'm 31.9% to 97 and I wanna hit 99 as soon as possible but the grind has been pretty slow. I haven't been grinding as much as I want to cause I just don't really want to grind career all day every day but I still do wanna hit 99, especially before May because I think in May is the cutoff date for immortalization. But anyway, here are my attributes. I do have a 77 driving layup, which is actually pretty good for a big man. My driving dunk is a 70, contact dunk 77. My mid-range is actually maxed out, luckily. When I did hit 96, I did max it out at a 64. My three-point is a 62. I think that also goes to 64, but it's not maxed yet. Ball control 63, which is pretty good. I wish I could get it to 70, but I didn't want to make a player shorter than seven feet, especially for a big man. And then my passing is an 81, which is amazing because I do have gold break starter. So when I'm playing threes in park and when I'm playing pro-am, I can just chuck the ball and most of the time the passes will be completed. My post scoring is 88. Rebounding is 78, which is much higher than I thought it would be on this build. I thought it would be in like the low 70s, but I will definitely take 78 for a playmaking post score. My steal is a 71. Shot contest 72, block 70. Vertical is a 53, which is not horrible for a big man but it's still kind of low. Lateral quickness 52, also low. My speed's a 62, acceleration 61. Strength is an 88, which is good, but I still kind of get bodied by seven threes with 99 strength, like glass cleaners, athletic finishers, and post scorers. But for the most part, I do know how to guard them. So 88 strength is not that bad. And then my stamina, obviously a 99. And I do have all of my badges. I have the post scoring badges right here. There are those three. Then I have Lob City Passer Gold, which is really fun when I'm playing with Slashers. As I said, I have Break Starter Gold. Quick Reflexes, which helps me with steals. Brick Wall. And then I do have Dimer Gold, which is the thing that I love about this build. Because when I do hit 99 overall, I'm going to have Hall of Fame Dimer on a big man, which is insane. Relentless Finisher Gold is an amazing badge. Same with Difficult Shots. Bruiser is also pretty good, because I can just body people with that. And then I do have Posterizer and Acrobat Silver. Pick and Roller and Pick and Popper. It's really nice to have both of those because even though my mid range is a 64 and my 3 is a 62, if I am shooting off a Pick and Pop and if my point guard has Gold Dimer, I can hit pretty consistently. And then the other silver badges I have are Flashy Passer, Free Throw Ace, Mid Range Deadeye, which is really good for post hop shots and post fades, Tireless Scorer, Teardropper, One Man Fast Break. And then the bronzes that I have are Putback King, Charge Card, which isn't even useful at all. Pick and roll maestro, which is kind of weird that I have it. I mean, I do have playmaker secondary, so I can see why I have it, but I think that should only be given to small forwards and guards. Then I do have hustle rebounder bronze, which is really good because it's much better than not having it at all. And then I do have lob city finisher bronze, rim protector bronze, and defensive stopper. And of course, I do have all these badges right here. I actually maxed out all of my badges, I think at 91 or 92 overall. I just wanted to get all that out of the way, especially Alpha Dog. That was probably the hardest badge to get. And moving on to this screen, I actually do have unlimited boost. I'm really happy that I got that, but I do want to get unlimited Gatorade before I hit 99. That would be useful as well. And as you can see in the bottom left, I actually do have 630 KVC. I have not spent it at all recently. I'm just saving up because I want to buy the hoverboard once I hit 97, and I think that's 250k. I want to buy mascots. I don't know if I want to buy one, two, three, or whatever. So as of now, I'm just saving most of my VC. And moving on to my animations, I do use normal crossover 4, which is an amazing crossover. Behind the back, normal 2. Moving spin, normal 6. Moving hesitation, normal 3. Standing size up combo, normal 6. Moving size up combo, normal 1. I don't have a park size up, but my size up package is normal 4. Double hesitation, normal 2. Double crossover, normal 1. Double between the legs, normal 2. Double behind the backs, normal 1. And then triple threat styles don't matter. And for Pro-Am and my career, I do use Kobe Bryant's free throw. I've been using this since NBA 2K16, so I'm really comfortable with it. Then I do have dribble pull up 4 which is a really good pull up for guards and big men. And then spin jumpers I don't do much but I do have Steph Curry's because it's really fast. Hop jumper I have James Harden because he does have that one animation that looks like a travel but it isn't. And that animation is super good. I do use fade 3 and hook 3 as well as post hop shot 1 and post shimmy fade 8. And I do have post shimmy hook 2 but I never do post shimmy hooks. For my layup package I have long athlete. And for my dunk packages I have rim grazers off 1. Under Basket Athletic Flushes, which is probably my favorite dunk package, it rarely gets blocked. Rim Grazers off 2, Big Man Hangs off 1, Big Man Baseline Reverses, Quick Drops off 1, and Reverses off 1. 
that's going to be it for the video. If you guys have any questions or if there's anything that I forgot to sew or that I didn't sew and that you guys want me to sew or just to tell you, make sure to comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been King Josh and I'm out. Peace.